<sighs> it's a beautiful morning in the jungle as its inhabitants wait to face another day of fighting for their very survival. Together. You're living the dream. Nothing like a life of a jungle scientist. Ah! Nope. Nope. No. Uh -uh. Two weeks in a row. Oh. Ah! You can do this. You're tough. You're ready. You're a jungle scientist. You're Magnolia. Patrick? Snake. No, I mean, you all belong in the jungle. I don't. I'm just a science geek in bad cargo shorts. Even the quicksand has it out for me. No, you part of jungle, just like us. Indeed. All you need is a little cheering up. What I need is to go back to my tent, have a cry, and write my resignation letter. Hey, right. We take you for super cheer up jungle fun trip. I really don't want to. Do it. How did you? Don't worry about that. We're here for fun. Cannonball! Wait! <laughs> that pond's full of piranha! <laughs> <laughs> it okay, Magnolia. Piranha good pals. See, we all jungle friends. Well, okay then. Forget they like foreign food. Mmm, oh. tasty lunch. Dig in, Magnolia. They're organic and free range. Have these ever been tested? I mean, how do you know if they're safe to eat? Mm. Oh, Georgie comes to see with Tiny George. Mm. No problem. And we apes have enjoyed burger trees for generations. Okay. Mm. You guys are right! It's the little... How were you to know you were allergic? I should have guessed! Great! What's this? Some secret I'm not jungle enough to know? Yes! I mean, no! No, 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 no secret! We were just discussing what fun place to go next! Yes! Come now! Come! This is dumb. I should just go... Ah! Hey, wait! I've never been to this part of the jungle before! Hey! I, I don't know where I am! Oh, poop. Great! Just one more reason why I don't belong here. Even my so-called friends forgot about me. I'll go back to my tent and then back to the city. 
Which way is my tent? That way? Uh, uh oh, maybe through there. No, no, it, it's got to be past that tree. Huh. What's he looking at? And whatever it is, must be delicious. It's me, isn't it? I'm delicious. <laughs> okay, okay. I know we went south this morning, so my tent has to be north. Okay, Lucky Compass, don't fail me. No! North! North! How do I find North? And... You're a magnet! Ha! North! <laughs> Why is my life so hard? There's got to be a way across. Use those degrees, Magnolia. If I pluck a feather from that bird, it'll squawk and wake up that snake, which will push over that rock, which will roll and knock over that tree, then domino those trees and make a bridge across the chasm. Yes! I knew Jungle Physics 202 wasn't a waste! Come on! It's not rocket science! <laughs> I get either, buddy, but it's the only way. Where's your spleen? Yes! Ha! Take that! What you gonna do now, pussycat, huh? Fly! <laughs> Just go log to log. You can do this. Oh my gosh, the teeth! How can I tell the logs from the crocodiles? Oh, I hate you, evolution! My piggies are so blistered, I bet I can feel the difference. Log, log, crock! Log, crock, crock, crock! Log, log! Because tigers never give up the hunt. They're jerks like that. Ape? You've been here the whole time, you fuzzy little... Ah! What? Oh. Oh. I get it. This is where I go nuts from being alone and starving in a cave for a month. <laughs> Maybe crazy only way survive. <laughs> Not stupid, smart! You smart to hide in here. Except you not notice jungle vending machine. That's kinda dumb. Magnolia smart about science and jungle. So use brain thinky thing one more time to beat Tiger. Me believe in you. What do you know? You're just a pile of <laughs> rotten coconuts. But maybe, maybe you're right. What kind of jungle scientist would I be if I let this jungle beat me? It's go time, baby! Happy birthday, Marie!
we wanted to surprise you with a little celebration of your jungle anniversary. But you forgot me in the jungle! We just needed a little time to set up your surprise party. I was lost for six months! Yeah, you think that's strange too, especially since we only lose you over there. And left you a map, food, and an arrow pointing this way. But wow! You survive alone for six months? You as jungle as us for sure. <laughs> Let's put that to the test. But run! George may be king of the jungle, but he's definitely not king of ideas. What's wrong, George? <sighs> George needs stop Jerk Eagle from eating cute meerkats. Every time George turn away, Eagle... Hey, Jerk Eagle! What George do to save meerkats? Remember when those jungle pigeons wouldn't stay off my tent? I made a scarecrow to keep them away. If anything, more pigeons came to laugh at it. So whatever you do, don't do it. Hey! George C! Oh, you didn't hear what I... Ta-da! Good idea, Magnolia. <laughs> George not know how you do it. Is that how you see me? <laughs> Ursula! George need help! How George get baby lever across river and home to family? Duh! Use canoe or raft or bridge! Ah! <laughs> Good idea, Ursula. Um, which one? <laughs> Thank you, Ursula! Uh, hello? What George do now? George, you can't rely on other people for ideas. You need to come up with them yourself. Ah. Huh? George, an antelope is stranded on that high ledge. <gasps> antelope in danger! Indeed. Quick, what do you do? Um, uh, George escaped for idea. But I've been eaten by a crocodile. What? <laughs> George cried because he missed eight. But the antelope still needs your help. George. Yes? Ask Ursula. Oh, you can't. She's returned to her home planet. <laughs> George's world collapsed. What if there's no one to ask? What if you have to come up with an idea by yourself? Now you never leave George, and he always has someone to ask what to do. George, you're missing the point. <laughs> Ursula Matt, take it out on Magnolia! What? Why? Why? <laughs> George want to help Magnolia, but George lousy at ideas. Apparently so, though I've never noticed it in any other episode. What a coincidence! This is an idea rock. If you find yourself wondering what to do, just ask it for ideas. Oh. Idea rock have name? Um, sure. It's Presley. Okay. Hey, Presley, what George do? Ooh, Presley's smart. He say, whoa! <laughs> Yes, that's a good idea. I'll do that. Um, Ape okay? Ape's fine. He just has a bunch of to-dos. To-do. Ape! Ape! Oh! <laughs> um, what Ape doing? Maybe George help? Doing? I'm not doing anything. With that, Presley? Yep. Ape definitely doing something. Relax, George. Slow down. Grab a tree and dangle. Yeah. You should hang upside down for a while. It's so amazing. Magnolia, why you hate Treehouse too? We no hate Treehouse. We no hate anything. Ursula, you no angry. Ursula, never angry. See? Big smile. Yay!
No thanks, Presley. Me not thirsty. George need to get to bottom of strange mystery. George said he not thirsty. Fine. You very pushy for rock. Sloth on shoulder! Look through glassy backwash! Mmm! Thank you, God! Delicious! See you later! We have to bounce! What George do? Presley, George needs save friends idea real bad! Okay, if Presley insists. <laughs> Where they go with invisible shoulder slots? What they building? Ooh, that good question too, Presley. <gasps> Holy rock bananas! <laughs> Excellent, my sloth chums. Soon we shall dominate this planet like we dominate afternoon naps. Okay, Presley. George hazy on details, but bit about Earth domination sound bad. What? Where? George, stop, evil sloth! But how? Are uh, you sure, Presley? Okay, if you say so. Whoa! Yeah, great idea, Presley! <laughs> oh, man! Where's my dynamite? Where to go? George, never tell! Oh, no! Now you've done it! We're doomed! Game over, man! George and Presley save Earth from evil slobs! No, man! When I say we're doomed, I mean you and me, not them! I was trying to stop all this. Uh, George and Presley no understand. You do flashback? <sighs> Fine. My name is Slothocles. And like all sloths, I'm not from your world. We sloths come from another slower dimension, man. I arrived here many years ago with a sloth scout team. We were sent to discover your weaknesses, but instead fell in love with your world. Specifically, your fudge. This is the only dimension that contains the glory that is fudge, man. Instead of completing our mission, we decided to make Earth our new home. I hope the rest of our evil race would forget about us. But that was not meant to be. My people have enslaved your friends with their sloth powers of suggestion. Wait, how come evil sloth's invisible and you not? We sloths use an advanced mind-phasing technique to turn invisible at will. But I'm too lazy. Oh, and it's easily neutralized by backwash. This is also the only dimension with backwash technology, man. Um, George, could I borrow those goggles? It'll just make things easier for everyone. Sure thing, Sky Voice. Much better. That's a time break. When it's yanked, it'll slow time to match the sloth dimension. Then sloths will be the fastest things on this planet, man. When the sloth army comes through the portal, we'll subdue this world in the blink of an eye. I was gonna blow that thing sky high, but someone ate my explosives. Presley, how to save everyone? George, need idea, quick. Hmm, uh-huh. Oh yeah, oh I see, okay. Sure hope it worked. Good luck. George really hoping that do it. Get him, get Good him, George. get him. <laughs> Presley, what plan B? George, watch out for the sloth! I am the sloth commander, but you may call me Peanut. Listen and do my bidding, ape man. You are powerless to resist. Whatever Peanut say, George do. <sighs> there goes the neighborhood, man. The whole dimension, really. Who better to pull the time break than the king of the jungle? <laughs> this planet is ours. No. No! George, make own idea! That's likely. You failed at it this entire episode. Yes! What? Uh, 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 wind blow you off! You have.
have to go into hyperspeed to knock me loose. Look out! Uh, uh, <gasps> George, free! Get, get him! him. Get him. Must stop him! Get oh, him! Must stop if slots want time to slow down, maybe better idea <gasps> to speed up! <laughs> Where did all these slots come from? No, my invasion. Cheer up, have some fun. Mm, this is really good. I know, right? Now get lost. No, I want more fun. George. You single-handedly saved us from sloth domination. I knew you had good ideas. Ah, uh, George not do much. Sloth McLees and Presley have all good ideas. All I did was ask you to stop them. And Presley is just a stone. I only pretended it was an idea rock to boost your confidence. George learned important lesson today. He learned... Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, George, get it. Um, uh, water wet? No, George learned that yesterday. Um, ooh, fire hot! Huh. You know? <laughs> Maybe I should find a planet where I'm more appreciated. The jungle holds many mysteries. How old is it? How deep is its heart? <gasps> What made that weird sound just now? And when an ape dies, how do his people say goodbye? That's Ape's Uncle Mitch, or at least a banana tribute to him. He was caught in a rhino flood, and as every ape knows, there's no escape from a rhino flood. I'm here at an ape ritual of sad feelings, never before seen by science. Nobel Prize, here I come. <laughs> Let the feast begin! Yeah! I'm here! I'm, I'm here! Did I miss the memorial? Ice creaming? Yes. Yes, it appears I did. George want try new Mitch flavor. And the circle of life is complete. <laughs> Waffle! So typical, bro. Late for Uncle Mitch's funeral? What's your excuse this time, huh? And don't say lifting, because I know you don't. Actually, Ted, George and I were testing out this. Oh, George inside egg! Amazing, isn't it? I call it my rhino flood emergency steroid. Now we won't lose anyone else in the rhino floods. Ah! Real apes don't hide in big, dumb balls, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're as ape in the grave, bro. Beverly, do not let the rapscallion see my tears. Oh! How dare you? Come at me, bro. Stop, meatwalkers. <gasps> no legs! Super Superman! <laughs> No legs born before legs invented. <sighs> oh, Uncle Mitch's silverback. Please, a silverback's the equivalent of an ape mullet. It's out of date, it's ugly, and it smells like farts. <clears throat> what, am I right? Am I right? Come on. Oh my gosh, I'm not right. Ah! It was a terrible ape faux pas. <laughs> if only Magnolia had taken a minute to watch the following audio-visual presentation. Many years ago, uh, before legs were invented, No Legs was a true ape hero. For being an all-round simian superstar, the ape gods bestowed upon No Legs the world's first silverback. 
And since that day, a silverback embodies achievement in the simian trifecta of lifting, charging, and intimidation. Yes, a silverback is the icing on the hairy brown cupcake of all eight kinds. I've seen it now! I've seen it now! Fine. Behold, Uncle Mitch's silverback. Silverbacks are a fine and noble ape custom. By tradition, your uncle Silverback passes to the apest of his family. Although, for the record, I think you're all a bunch of lazy leg standers. Sorry, bro, but you're as ape as a grape. Lay it on me, bub. I am not as ape as a grape. <gasps> Someone just grew a pair of wheels. I am as ape as an ape. I challenge you for Uncle Mitch's Silverback. Bring it on, bro. That right. Ape, bring it to Ted. Ape, bring it all to Ted. Huh? Indeed. What have I done? What have you done? You made this old ape happy. <gasps> oh, snake pants. Ever since we were kids, Ted believed he was twice the ape I was. But I, too, can beat my chest in a gorilla-esque fashion. First, maybe ape not once say gorilla-esque anymore. Second, George have planned to help Ape win Silverback. Ah! Ah! Get her off me! Ursula help find Ape Dinner Ape. Ah! Ah, my eyes! She has my eyes! Bad, Ursula. Give Ape eyes back. First Silverback challenge is... Yes, lifting. That's right. Lift that! A termite? But it only weighs a minuscule amount. No! Go, 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 no! That was easy. Lift, 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 lift! I oh, have... Challenge! <laughs> she means challenge too. Charging. Ursula can count? Ape! Roar! That! I don't see how charging at that will help. No, Ape! Roar! Go, 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 go! <laughs> My word, that felt quite primal. Watch out, Ted. You won't know what hit you. <laughs> Uh, how that help, Ape? It training. <laughs> Ursula Mink laugh laugh. <laughs> Perfectly preserved. No! You intimidate, intimidate, Go! I am so sorry. Here, let me get that. Hold on. Is this Radiolis Florensis? What a beautiful stable. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ursula, give up! George, think ape ready to. Apes, we gather here today to determine which of Mitch's nephews is worthy of his silverback. Ape. Or, ah, who are we kidding? Ted's gonna win. George, believe in you, ape. Be best ape ape can be. Ape mentor George. Now George mentor ape. I can do this. I can do this. No I talk. Oh. Ted, ape, show me how you can lift. <laughs> Excelsior! Point to Ted. Challenge two. Impress me with your apiest. Charge! Right, here we go! Point to ten! Ape not have to do this. Ape always be ape in George's heart. Thank you, George. But this is my one chance to prove I'm as proper an ape as ten. I have an announcement. All your toes disgust me! Now, the last ape event, Intimidation. <laughs> what do you got, bro?
row. Which means Ted wins the silver bag. Oh yeah, feel the glory. George, sorry, ape. But... Like I said, bro, an ape is a grape. <laughs> Forget it, bro. This silver bag belongs on a real ape. I am a real ape. It belongs to me! <laughs> Rhino? That really wasn't my intention. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible ape, but you're also an awesome ape, if you catch what I did there. No idea, but I can live with it. Ape and Ted okay. Holy banana, Ape Silverback! You look good on Ape. Hey, Ape not busy. Want Mark trees with Ursula Friday night? Truly flattered, but no. I never really wanted this. I just wanted respect. Ted, you should be the Silverback in the family. Sweet, and all is right in the Broniverse. Hey, I totally mark trees with you. You can watch me lift stuff after. Hmm, what do you say? Dad, <laughs> Ursula, give Ted eyes back. <laughs> the jungle, a peaceful, tranquil place. <laughs> And so it begins. Of the jungle, comma, George. Normally, a happy-go-lucky jungle king beloved by all. But now, 16 months since his last bath, he's a teeming mass of filth and bacteria. His loincloth dissolved weeks ago, replaced by leopard print mold. His scalp contains approximately 10,000 new species alone. Let's not even go there. <laughs> George. Ugh, need stronger brush. It's for your Ooh. own. Actually, no. It's for everyone else's good. <laughs> Fine, George clean. Happy now. Tucky, tucky. Whoa, whose idea was it to polish him? Doesn't that feel better, George? George, do feel lighter. We did scrub a lot of, let's call it stuff, off you. Whoops, missed a spot. Ah, that not spot, that Olaf. Sure, you want to keep your dirt. I understand. But 
you'll get super gross and filthy all over again soon if you... Ah! Oh, my gosh! It just blinked at me! Not it. It's Olaf. Say hello to people, Olaf. John Obita? If you're asking if I knew George had a botfly living in him, I thought it would teach him responsibility. Olaf and George meet long time ago. Whoa! Whoa! TMI! Stop the dissolve! Oh, please, Mama, do not make me look! Olaf, Mom, and Dad ask George to take care of babies. George loves babies. So King of Jungle <laughs> promised to keep babies oh. until babies fly away. George's so proud! You all have bright future ahead! Huh? Olaf no grow wings, so Olaf and George stick together instead. Best friends forever. Oh. It's because you're sad, George. Sad that uh, Magnolia took away the bug living under your skin. Sheesh, sorry already. George don't want to be sad. I'm sorry, old sport. Feelings, even sad ones, are part of life. <laughs> So, George searched the jungle for animals that never felt sad, so he could, um, become those animals? Don't blame me, it's his plan. George? George! They're parasites! Give me a break! Hmm, his trail of tears stops here, in Slothborough. George? Who George? No George here. Me Sloth now. Name, Molasses G. George, I mean Molasses G. I can't believe I have to ask this, but why are you a sloth? Sloth's super happy, never feel sad. See, always smiling. George, you know those sloths are upside down. <laughs> George, it's okay. You can feel sad for your dumb fly baby. No, George, just need to choose better animal that is never sad. Let's go. Sloths are so depressing. They're finally gone. Party! Bird's always happy. Ka -ka! Ka -ka! I think I think he's making fun of us. Why? 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 <laughs> Wait, you just like sloth. I don't see how these emotion sticks will make George any better. He's avoiding his feelings. Let's see him avoid 20,000 faults of them! George, you're back! And not sad anymore? No. George, fine. Are you sure? He said he's fine. Back off, knuckle-draggers! In case you're both dumb, which from the looks of you, name's Hank, and I'm taking care of Georgie Boy's emotions from here on in. All animals get sad, so George give all feelings to Hank. From the horse's mouth. Hey, gee, you know what would make your emotions real happy right now? Fixing them up a sandwich. Chop to it already, Jungle King. Lemurs, get the emotion sticks. Yeah, not your best sandwich, G, but it'll have to do. Until you make me a new one. Oh, hey, your emotions got mustard on their toes, and that makes them feel sad and stuff. You can fix that, can't you, Georgie boy? Give George back his feelings! Uh... You damn rotten lemur! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Yeah, well, if you two think I'm going anywhere, you got Wow, that eagle just ate Hank. Eagles are the only animals worse than lemurs. But hey, Hank's gone, George. That means you've got all your feelings back. Yay! <laughs> no, feelings in lemur. Now feelings gone forever. <laughs> Someone in danger must hurry. Baby monkey safe now. What? George have food caught in teeth? All you need is a good night's sleep, George. Everything will be brighter in the morning. Good times and bad times. Want emotions back now. That's excellent, George. Without your feelings, you're a terrible jungle king. No kidding. You didn't even notice this. What? George, understand. George, get feelings back. Finally! From Jerk Eagle. Oh. Hey, Eagle, give feelings back. <laughs> Jerk Eagle. If anyone can catch an eagle in its natural habitat, it's not George, apparently. Hey, eagle, give George back feelings so George can be mad at you. At least George can try... Again. Jerk eagle gone. Lemur gone. Olaf gone. Feelings gone. <laughs> George sad. George never feel anything again. George sad. Olaf, how good. <laughs> George, George, your feelings are back. What? How he do that? Because you cried yourself a water slide of emotion down the volcano. Hooray! George happy again and sad and angry and shocked and worried and ennui, but mostly happy! Now can you please do something about this? What? I'm not doing anything! Glad you're back, Jungle King. Sleep tight. Olaf, you finally get wings. George, happy to see you one last time. <laughs> no! Jerk George of the Jungle. As strong as he can be. But how strong is that? And how does he work? Let's take a look inside. His eye Georges keep a keen watch for trouble in the jungle. Oh, he's spotted something. Then sensitive ear Georges listen for advice from his mentor, Ape. George, save that monkey! To the brain George, who looks a little overworked right now. He's got a lot to deal with. The brain George makes a decision and ta-da! The king of the jungle gets it done. <laughs> You might think the brain George is in charge, but you'd be wrong. The stomach is where it's at. It takes a lot of food to keep the king of the jungle jungling. 
my heart. Oh, meat the best. George loves meat. You do eat an awful lot. Maybe you could cut back a little. Why? Meat never run out. It's magic. What? Meat isn't magic. Meat is... Animals! All meat? Meat Georgie? Burgers, steak, ham sandwich, double extra bacon pizza? No, 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 no! George thinks chicken burritos made by chicken, not with chicken! It's okay, George. It's not okay! George's supposed to protect animals, not eat animals! George? <gasps> what if George eat Tookie Tookie by mistake? Or Doggy Chef? Or you, Ape? Or <gasps> me? George, many other animals eat meat. It's the circle of life. George must make big sorry time to all animals. Sorry, Birdie Birds, about chicken noodle soup. Sorry, Jungle Cow, about juicy burgers. Sorry, Wild Piggy, about ham sandwich. Sorry, Wild Piggy Butt, about pig butt burritos. Sorry, Jungle Moose, about chocolate mousse. I really think you're making too much of this, George. Here, I made your favorite lunch. No, no! Go, little meatballs. Go, be free. George, no eat you ever again. You too, spaghetti. George, this is ridiculous. And pasta's not even a... From now on, no animals in mouth. George, only eat veggie tables. And make sure Jungle does too. Apple tastes way better than brown mouse. Cabbage plant instead of frog. Ursula, onion tastes much <laughs> While your quest is noble, my good friend, I fear it's doomed. No, George not stop. Must teach jungle to eat veggies, not food that alive. But George, vegetables are... Alive? How come you never tell George that, Banana? Tell Banana he owed George answer, Celery. <laughs> See, George, eating other plants and animals is a normal process in nature. We apes have been doing it ever since we arrived on this planet. I mean, ever since we evolved on this planet. Fine. Then George eats dirt. Dirt not animal. Dirt not alive. But even dirt is full of things that are living. What? And George be a... Don't do it! Rocketarian! <laughs> Yum! Oh, so good! George, you can't just eat rocks. It's been weeks now. I'm taking you to the... Witch Doctor! Sometimes I just love saying my own name out loud. Uh, what seems to be the... Oh. He won't eat anything except rocks. And the jungle's going to heck without him! Hmm... 50 cc's of quit being an idiot and eat some real food should do the trick. Let's not eat anything but rocks until conscience clear. George, if meat could talk, it would tell you that it's okay to eat it, as long as you treat it with respect. But meat can't talk, so... <gasps> meat seance! My afternoon's free. I'm gonna open a pretty gnarly hole to the netherworld, so make sure you don't disturb this circle. Why not? What part of Gnarly Hole to the Netherworld didn't you understand? Spirits of ham, spirits of lamb, spirits of sausage and chicken pot pie. Come forth through this portal so George can say hi. Holy bananas! Wow, I didn't expect it to work. 
Okay, big man, say your piece. George just wants to say he's very, very sorry for eating all you animal meats. Uh, unless you say is okay, George only eat rocks now. See? <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Some angry meat, and it's out for revenge. say that I never prepared for this exact problem. Meat defeat George because George take meat for granted and not think about what he eat. George need to know his frenemy. Eight, put George in meat school. Teach about circle of life. Teach proper meat names. Teach about where meat come from. But really, really fast. Okay. About meat now. Know where it come from and where it going. Eat me. Me really, really tasty and free range organic, ethnically treated. I have good life, so it's okay and natural for you to eat me now. Circle of life. George, what have you done? George, clear conscience. Now me know what it's like to be meat too. Whee! <laughs> oh, 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 only ghost can eat ghost. George? Goodbye, turkey. Hope you had good life in nice fields and grass and bugs, which is only kind of meat George eat from now on. Then eat me, you beautiful man. <laughs> you did it, George. You ate all the meat that you previously ate. Yeah, man, that was... <laughs> heavy. <laughs> Jungle safe again, and George understand all about me. We'll always remember your sacrifice, George. What sacrifice? Which doctor can just put George back in body now? Sure, if your body's still around. Uh, I could put you in something else, I suppose. Not so bad, George double patty with onions. Wait, why ain't look at George like that? Hey, hey, no! Daddy! Daddy! Huh. George, wake up! <laughs> no one said being king of the jungle was easy, but George takes it to a whole other level. Hurry! 
Hurry, 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 hurry! Hit him up! Luckily, George always bounces back. Ape, time for jungle aerobics? No, in fact, you'll never need to exercise again. Oh. Why? A huge asteroid is headed straight for the jungle! And? There is no and! We're doomed! Doomed! Hmm. Or me could save day. Yes! Me do that instead! Me save day! Ow! Oh, it's an asteroid! <laughs> no worry, everybody! George, catch Big Sky Rock with bare hands! George, you can't catch an asteroid. It's... it's all over. Hey, George got this. <laughs> yes, George always bounces back. That is until, spoiler alert, right now. We're alive. We're alive! Hey! George, are you okay? No. Whew, that doesn't look too bad. That's a normal skeleton for comparison. This is George. Every bone is broken. His organs are mulch. Somehow there's a wasp nest in there. And I don't even know what all this stuff is. But thanks to my very expensive services, he's gonna be fine. Thank you, Doctor. Me feeling better already. No, what you're feeling is nothing, because I had to remove your entire body. Ta-da! <laughs> Don't be such big babies. I sent it out for repairs. It'll be back in a week. But what will George do until then? Same as everyone else. Use the loner. Yeah! Not so bad for a body made of wood. Um, George? Ah! Pretty hot! Pretty hot! Ah! <laughs> Sorry? Oh, I've got a couple more, but I'm keeping your deposit. Okay, now, George, see what new body can do. Um, George? Ah! Termites hungry! Termites hungry! Oh, I'll get another. Okay. Now, George, see what new body can do. Um, George. This gets silly now. And I'm all out. But George can't just be ahead. Hmm. No. No, 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 no. Yes! <laughs> you great from up here. Uh, uh. Ooh. Me control arm. I don't like this. I don't like this very much at all. Nose or ear itchy ape? George, help! Ah, ouch! Stop it! That's good enough for me. I'll see you in a week. Come in! We save jungle together! High five! George! No! Oh, maybe! No! Oh, you should let go! Oh, me drive! Oh. Uh, no rock to plug hole. Only one option. Wait, don't! <laughs> Big cats, work together instead! George! George, no field claws or teeth! Eat. Well, that was a whole half hour. Get him off me! Now! But Ape no like being close to best friend George? I do. You just have to take better care of your body, George. You're too reckless. George's not reckless. George extreme! And that's the problem that feels so weird. What now, soccer ball? More friends help. You know, at first I was like, no way. But it's been fun spending time with you, George. Aw, George happy you let him crash here. <laughs> no problem. What are friends... Wow! What are you doing? George, get you cool tattoo to remember time we spend together. Hit <laughs> picture of me, real big. You know, like tattoos? Ah! This time, 
food go in Ursula's mouth? Not if George get there first. Sorry. Stop. Please, stop. <laughs> higher. Higher. Whee! <laughs> Turtle. Turtle. Do loop. Do loop. Whee! <laughs> Great news. Hi, Doctor. George's body back? Good as new. Finally. Let's get you back where you belong. Huh? Hey! Okay. Follow George's body! Buddy, what the fuck? Three. Hey, buddy. Why you run? I don't know if you understand how creepy this is. Buddy? Put me on, okay? Fun chase over. Ow! That hurt. Bad news, George. Your body doesn't want you back. It says you don't respect it and you'll just break it again. He tell you that? He indicated as much using a clever mix of mime and middle fingers. Fine. Who need body anyway? You do, George. You really, really do. No. George Head needs no one. See you back at Treehouse, Ape. Are you? George, sure. George, still Jungle King. <sighs> hey, kitty, leave Monkey alone. <laughs> Not cool, kitty. George, help little guys get across. Okay. Now, George, think you're missing on purpose. Ha! <laughs> oh. Wow! George never see Jungle from up high! Looks so pretty! Make George want to focus on important things in life! <laughs> Jerky! Oh. And what do we have? George, where have you been? George been in pain. George understand how hard he be on body. He take it for granted. No more. <laughs> I rock this body. You know who has two thumbs and feels like punching some lions? This guy. <laughs> Not in my weirdest dreams did I ever imagine. Must stop, Dr. Baby Big Buddy! Strike! I'm totally jacked! And I never even went to the gym! Hey, bad doctor! <coughs> Set body free! Um, that'll be a... No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes! This is my house! Bro George Ape must save body in jungle! But it'll hurt! Bro George! Dr. Chicago! Huh? Uh, uh, a 
I'll buy you a massage? <laughs> Buddy, me sorry for treating you bad. Me no deserve such awesome muscles and six pack. Me wish you good future. Whoa, 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 whoa. Buddy miss George? George miss Buddy too! <laughs> me so happy to be back. And another bizarre nightmare comes to a happy end. Now we celebrate with rock eating contest. Ow! Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. 